And the car just, oh, excuse me, you're not supposed to drive through the building. As far as I know, we're the last humans alive. I'm hoping there's more, but this is what life is like in the zombie apocalypse. Now, here's where we're located, right in the heart of somewhere Ohio. And I've got to survive the zombie apocalypse for eight days. Now, in order to do that, we're going to want to check out these houses and find supplies. So let's send our squad of survivors out here and explore this house first. We found some canned food, so that's pretty good. We're going to start out just by checking the houses around our base camp right now and hope for the best. I mean, maybe we could find some like... I mean, what are you gonna find like when there's no power? It's really just canned food. I was like, you know what? Cheeseburgers would be nice, but I think those would be zombie burgers, if anything. So we return to the base with our new supplies that we just got. And now they're saying, listen, those houses aren't very good for loot. We wanna find some warehouses or stores. I love how this sign says inflation is good. No, it is not. Inflation is not good at all. Inflation is what is making a dozen eggs eight freaking dollars at the store right now. Anyway, I digress. Hopefully there's no zombies in this little like corner store. Ooh, now that looks like some medical grade goods. Um, we've got a big, I guess, teaching facility over here. This is massive. Like look at how big the world is in which you're operating. Now we got four crates of canned goods which is significantly better than just like the little houses that were around us. That being said, we've explored these resources. Resources are incredibly finite and rare in this game. I mean, that's how they would be in the apocalypse. So let's go, let's get our group, go to this corner and then make it over here to this medical facility, which I have to ask, what kind of medical facility operates in like a little cul-de-sac of a neighborhood? I believe this pharmacy, you might call it <clears throat> a street pharmacy. And yep, it's got drugs in it. We just don't know what kind it has. Let's find out. All of my people are armed with pistols, which is pretty good for close quarters search in seizure in, you know, neighborhood type buildings. But if we were to encounter, say, a horde of zombies, eh, I don't think pistols would be very confidence building for our people. Sir, the sun is getting low. So they're saying, do you want to scavenge at night when it's very dangerous or go back to the headquarters? Well, I'm not afraid of the dark, but my people are, okay? So we're going to head on back home. But we did get two boodles, I believe is the technical term, of um, some drugs that, you know, maybe there's some aspirin or anti-zombie uh, eye drops, potentially. And at this point, it's just sort of like waiting for night to end and day to begin. Oh my goodness. You know, it's always the little like reclusive hermit on the end of the street that nobody knows that has like a complete arsenal of guns. But what I want to know is how come I know what's in their house? That's some dystopian like we have someone who used to work for the government kind of thing. Now we can create a new squad. Oh shoot, there's a horde of zombies. Now let's get ready. I would rather shoot at them because that's fun. Let's create a new squad of troops. Now we've got two so we can double the amount of area that we can search. Alternatively, we could go outside. Now all I gotta do is make sure that we're covering horde spotted. So a horde isn't like, you know, like in The Walking Dead where there's just like hundreds and hundreds of zombies, at least not at the moment. They seem to be small groups of like four to six, which I think is pretty manageable and risking it for what looked like a fully automatic assault rifle of the automatic Kalashnikov variety seems to be a good risk it for the biscuit. The biscuit here being guns. Hostiles inbound. I think we need to work on, you know, what they're saying because it sure makes it seem like we're under attack every given second, but we're just spotting them. Guys, chill out. I know everything's a little bit hectic and we're all afraid of getting, you know, eaten to death by the undead. They are not inbound. They're just walking around, dude. Chill out. There's a large piece of dried meat here with a piece of rope around it. Um, oh man. You know what? We're gonna inspect it. Uh-oh, these zombies are getting close. Oh, there's some ammunition crates still over there. Let's pause this, take a gander around. There's tools over here. We haven't looted that, nor have we gotten these teaching notes, but I'm not seeing any other guns. The guns are relatively far away. The question is, where would I wanna create like a base, right? Oh, that's not ominous. Now it looks like I might be able to create a third squad. The newest squad has two machetes. So maybe I'll leave squad three 
back at the base and send the other two squads out. Now, since it's nighttime, we're gonna stick close to the base. We might not get the most types of goods, but we're gonna get something out of it. So one of the things that we could do is adapt these buildings for housing. So these guys are converting this into a house because one of my missions up here is to convert the structures around me into living quarters. The hordes seem like they're getting larger. Slowly but surely they're getting closer. It's 4 a.m. so it's almost daybreak. Now this horde is getting awfully close. They actually went inside of the house? I mean, that makes sense. Oh, there we go. Now that it's daybreak, we're sending the resources over here. We're gonna need, what, 24 pieces of wood. And now I'm starting to get this. So we have the living capacity of I can't tell if we have 16 people or 16 capacity and we have 40. Now this is cool. This is start starting to get where the game starts to feel like, you know, a uh, real-time strategy game. It's a very unique game. I think what we're gonna do is lock in this area right here. This will be my city that we operate out of. I'm a little worried about these three houses, but maybe we could destroy them. We can gather wood from the trees around us, which is pretty awesome. All right, so if we're gonna be gathering trees, we're gonna want a guard tower. I'm gonna put it here. Is it the best spot for it? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Oh, the zombies hide during the day. That's intriguing. This is sort of like I am legend. We're still building up this house into a shelter and we're building a guard tower over here because eventually I wanna start chopping down these trees to gather wood resources. Not having the best luck in terms of finding resources from these houses. We just found a car? Oh, heck yes. Now, there could be human raiders out there. We'll chop down these trees right here on the edge of our town. Now, once we get this car going, I wanna check out the teaching facility here. Our workers are done with building the guard tower. Now, if we could find a deer rifle, we'd have a pretty good sniping position, but the workers are gonna start chopping down the wood. Oh, there's another market here. There's like a little pharmacy. This is a pretty good area of the neighborhood, but being able to move around with a car might be pretty incredible. Like where's the nearest gun store? Way over here, uniformed services facility, pistols, assault rifles, this game is amazing, and to think that this is a free-to-play prologue on Steam right now? All right, you loot that store, and you guys are headed to the gun store. Now we're really having to have a much bigger and broader view of the world around us. I'm still very curious what these mystery places are. There's a gun store over there. We've got all kinds of stuff around. So they found one can of goods, not the best. And the car just, oh, excuse me. You're not supposed to drive through the building. All right, we're gonna step out, check the gun store. What do we got in there? We found two new things of drugs. I'm gonna check out this building with you guys. All these guys are looting. <laughs> I keep saying that. Oh, there's another car. We, tomorrow morning, we're gonna send a squad out to get that car. Now, I don't know how you run out of fuel or how quickly that happens. Wow, the car can carry a ton of resources. All we got from that one was ammunition. It's 4.30, it's getting close to nighttime. I'm gonna check out this tool store with that group. But I mean, if you want to find like a really good balance of like colony or kingdom management type of a game set in a zombie apocalypse with some RTS elements, this game sure feels like it's the thing for you to scratch that itch. Plus it's like the 22nd most wishlisted game on Steam right now. So it's 540, I think it's time to head back to the base. We got one tool and six ammunition. You know what? I mean, we out here, right? Might as well. This is me in any video game ever when there's resources. Oh, these guys are learning? Yo, what are you learning about over there, nerds? No, just let's head back to base. Scientific materials, it was taking them an incredibly long amount of time to get those resources. And this building I think had potentially, well, it's an old butcher shop. Okay, it's getting nighttime. We gotta get back home. I do not wanna lose this squad of people or the vehicle that they're using. So now it's just everybody return to base. Oh, there is a little squad of, oh my God, that's not a little squad. That one's about two to three times the size of the ones that we've seen so far. Oh, and there's gunshots. Uh-oh. I didn't realize that by building this guard tower, we would have staffed it with a person. Um, yeah, get ready to defend the zone indeed. They're hacking at this tower, but my guys are opening fire. Guys, we got... Oh, is this the squad with two machetes? Kite them. Run. Fly, you fools. Look at them running for the zombies in the forest. All right, that worked. Now, we just 
had a lot of gunshots, so in theory there could be, you know, some zombies nearby. But let's drop all of the resources we got off at the base. I, I think they might have bows and arrows. That's pretty funny. <laughs> we got bows and arrows, which is, which is good, because that's sustainable ammunition. Or I guess it'd be more renewable ammunition. Now what I want to know, okay, they're able to shoot from there. We probably should have put a guardhouse closer. Now they're going to come through here, so I want to use this right here to lure them out and finish them all off. One of these guys has a semi-automatic weapon, or a fully automatic weapon, rather, and I, I, I'm not sure who it is. Once more, I feel like I want to use the nighttime to find out more about this little neighborhood that is going to become our fortress city. I just realized that the question marks are because, like, we don't really know this area very well. The further you go out, it's just question mark. Uh-oh. We got another horde moving in across this, like, little forest. I need to clear out all the forest to create good kill zone. Now, while they're looting, can they still shoot? Guess the answer is no. Oh, the guard tower is being used. Oh, those birds freaked me out, man. I thought they were zombies. There are a lot of zombie hordes moving in from that side of the map. That's where we need to build our next guard tower. Maybe a few. So we only got 33, I guess, housing. And we need 40. So we're going to convert this house. Yeah, I think the only thing I would change uh, from this prologue into the full game is like, my guy's not saying, they're coming! When they're just like, you know, casually patrolling up there and we're not immediately under attack. All right. So good morning, it's 5.30 a.m. These guys haven't slept a lick, but that's all right. They love working. Heck yes. Okay, well, we got a new assault rifle, which is fantastic. They found it in this guy's house over here. Ooh. All right, there's people in a house. It's like, hey guys, do you want to survive the apocalypse with us? And they're like, no. And then you pull out your gun and you're like, are you sure? And they're like, okay, fine. So we're gonna send the group with the assault rifle and one of the pistol groups. The third group is gonna scout out some houses. Now the smoke's coming from what, it's saying it's abandoned, but it's a pastry shop. Are people cooking up some like croissants during the zombie apocalypse? Cause one, that's amazing and thank you. And two, that's a little bit dumb. But who am I to judge, man? We got close quarters, <laughs> pistols, machete, and an assault rifle. We're gonna accept them. And we have a red gun? What does that mean? Oh, it means we're out of ammo. These guys are what, halfway to the car? And it's not even 10.30 a.m.? I'd say that's a win. Oh, there's another car down here too. The car has been found. What do I really need? Like, what is this? Bag of grain? I kind of want to get that. There's a bus broken down. Maybe there's a safer one. Findable resources, a car repair shop. You know what? We're going to check that out. So this is what it looks like. Big bird, big government eye right now. After we chop down these trees, it should probably be building another two guard towers. A metal tower would be better, and then a fortified tower would be even better than that. All right, we're searching the car repair shop. These guys are full up on gear. We got some tools, some ammunition, and some canned food. They're heading back to base. These guys didn't find anything in that potential car repair shop. That is disappointing. Got some canned food, but nothing great. We haven't found any amazing resources anytime soon. And these guys are almost done. I'm wondering if it's gonna like level them up. Oh, they're getting scientific materials. Guess that makes sense. Now it's almost nighttime. I mean, it's 4.50ish, but this is gonna be the last thing that this group down here gathers before they head home. All right, head on back to the base. Now it's just these guys out by themselves. And now we have two cars. All right, it's nighttime at 6 p.m. Everybody's coming in from chopping wood. The mood is good. That's good. They said another one incoming. I don't see anything. Oh, here we go. Small group to the north. See, this forest. They really like to come in from over here. So while these guys are searching, I'm going to have this group sort of like stay nearby. I feel like we're making very good progress on searching this entire neighborhood. Man, I'm not finding anything over there. This is a really good house. Look at the surrounding like view of this. We could build a wall. This could be like a corner tower of a castle. Uh-oh, zombies coming. Shoot them, shoot them. Nicely done. Uh-oh, coming from the south. What is, okay, that's a pretty good vantage point. They should be able to engage them. Oh, that's a big squad. Oh man, shoot faster, <laughs> retreat. Bravely, bravely, bravely running away. <laughs> oh, they're fast, oh, they're fast. Whew. Okay, that was a decent sized horde. And I can't tell like if this is durability, the magazines, are we running out of ammunition? Oh shoot. We're gonna use up so much ammunition. Oh man, look at the the condition. We're down by like 5,000 health. We're firing arrows. There we go. But that's three different hordes. Oh gosh. We cut that group up. Oh, someone's out of ammo. You know what? It's melee time, I guess. Oh my God. Wait a minute. 
They died? I just lost two people. And we're out of ammo. So it's 3.21 AM and things are getting a little bit scary. Wait, we have ammunition. And when they were saying no ammo, is it just that they were running out of the magazines that they were carrying? I can't give them any ammunition, which is the downside. All right, it's almost daybreak. Zombies are starting to hide. We need to figure out what we want to do. Is there any area that's sort of like surrounded by water, like a peninsula or maybe even an island with a bridge? I'm not seeing anything, but something like that would be incredibly we uh, good to defend. I don't see anything like that around here. But when the full game comes out, you're gonna be able to pick like anywhere on the map and say, I wanna start here. Like you could go into the heart of like the biggest city or you could be out in the suburbs like we are now. So it's daybreak. We're gonna send two groups out via cars. This is like, a shopping mall area. We're going over here. All right, both cars are heading out. They're taking, um, does anyone live in Ohio and know where this street is? Rydell Road, I think it's Ohio. Maybe we could use this to start cultivating land? Heck yes. So we gotta build a cookout. Dog teeth, oh no, we got rabid dogs out there. Oh, I can build fields and I can build a cookhouse. That is cool. So I'm gonna need to wall off an area and make it safe. And build a field, oh, this is so cool, okay. All right, we're gonna build two fields. Lots of good resources in that house. All right, where's my my people? The cars are still en route to the uh, Woe Chapel Road, uh, you know, strip mall over here. There are so many stores. Hopefully one of these is a gun store. Hopefully one of these is like, hey man, you wanna be a farmer? And I'm like, yes, I would love to do that. What's this? Neutral group. The infected is in decline. Who is on this radio? Let's switch a channel. We have to build a large antenna and then we could like communicate to groups of people out there. Oh snap, that would be awesome. Wait a minute, those are hostile people. This is so much freaking fun. This is like the game of my dreams right now. There's a few little things of like, I wish camera movement was smoother. I wish rotating buildings was easier and like I could just like kind of queue up a few of these things. But I mean, other than that, like this is appealing to the whole like, hey, let's survive and build a community in the zombie apocalypse. I am having an absolute blast doing it. Dude, these guys are able to loot so much. I keep saying loot, I know, I know. I, I just can't stop apparently, but like when they use a car, they can put all the resources in a car. It's significantly better than traversing in searching, not looting, for stuff on foot. Yeah, those aren't like the most aligned, right? You see what I mean? When you have to build five of them in a row, you want them all like symmetrical, right? Oh, these guys are just chilling here, aren't they? You're supposed to be like gathering all the stuff out of that house. Whoops. We spotted some people probably armed. They could have seen us too. Approach friendly. Please don't hurt us and don't make me hurt you. Our citizens are under attack by who? These little miscreants over here. There's three of them. So we got pistols. I should have got in this house. Oh God. All right, we lost a couple people, but we got three guns out of it. I wouldn't say that was necessarily good trade. Lives are far more important and it's almost time to go. So we'll loot these last two buildings over here. We'll search this one tomorrow. Yeah, so I thought these people might be nice. They're not, they're quite mean. Oh, hold on, it's nighttime. We gotta get back home. And there's another hostile group over here. They're actually on the move, probably looting themselves. I thought they would just stay still, but like this is a dynamic environment we're looking at. Okay. Oh man, these guys are gonna have to drive during the night when the zombies are out. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't, I hope that I can like turn these vehicles into like technicals, you know? Like with some big old 50 cals on the back. Run into zombies, no problem. Run into raiders, eh, a little bit less of a problem. We're halfway done in surviving. The zombies are coming out at night. Let's see what happens when we're driving. Like, do we do drive-bys? Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh wait, we can drive over them, right? Oh, get in the road. Hold on, let's try this. Yeah, no, 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 drive them over. We're doing this really roundabout way of doing this, <laughs> but it's working, okay. I can't add any more people. I can't create a new squad. This is another thing, they kind of automatically got into the cars and I don't want that. I need more guard towers around my core, like core structures, cause these zombies just like walk straight down the street and they're like, hey man, you want me to bite you? And no, that's a, oh, those are the angry dogs. Okay. All right, I told them to run away from the angry dogs. Bad doggies. Oh God, zombies, oh no. Guys, this is what you call bad. Oh no. You gotta get out of there. Run, go to the guard tower. 
Lead them away. Okay, they're dead. Yeah, we need more guard towers, I guess. Okay, we lost an entire squad. And I can't build a new one because there's no workers available. How do we get more people? Yeah, now this group is like, okay, that that's a potential like game killing horde right there. I do not want to go out at night. I'm going to stay close and just build a few guard towers. Potential survivors. We, we've got to go. Like we're low on manpower. Oh, good morning. All right. We're sending our best squad to do it. Oh, I guess there's still stuff in these cars that need to be offloaded. Lots of food, but that's good. It's good to have lots of food. Actually, no. Get the tools in the grain. All right, send in the attack car with the Kalashnikov. Ba 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 ba. There we go. We gotta find out if those people can join us, man. We're building a warehouse. We're building these farms. I also need towers, but like we have too many build orders, and I don't know how to change the priority yet. Guys, it's a little bit hard to survive. Okay. Please tell me we're doing okay in there. What's that? Hey, there's a mystery in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lisa. Lisa! Lisa dead. Oh, no. Michelle's almost dead, too. This is not going well. I'm not having a good time. Wooden tower here? No. I want them to overlap their field of fire. And then another one, like, I guess, here. It's almost like using these houses as walls to funnel them down. All right, now we need to build a cookhouse. Let's convert this to the cookhouse. Close down these two fields to get this cookhouse up and running fast. It'd be really cool if you could chain orders. Like, can I have them loot this house, then loot this one, then come home? So I didn't have to like micromanage everything. And I'm still not sure how to give this guard tower like the AK-47, for example. All right, it's almost nighttime. Let's head back. We're gonna put the car like a little further away so my guys don't exit the house and immediately try to get in a car. Oh, we got one guard house done. This one is like, this one's 80% done, but it has all the wood. People, I guess, just like didn't put the nails on it. Guys, get out of the, get out of the car, please. I hear gunshots. I thought I heard gunshots. I'm paranoid, man. So I got this house with a pretty good area of fire. The guard tower on um, that guard tower is going to start firing because this one's not done yet. Dang it. Oh, gosh. Get distracted by the guard tower. Yeah, we need to build walls. Oh, my gosh. The angry dogs. What do you mean the door won't hold much longer? Who's saying that? Who needs my help? Are they out there? Get in the house before the dogs get here. Oh, my goodness. You got to be kidding me. Don't let them get in the house. What do you mean you're empty? You can't be empty. We just get more bullets. We've got tons of bullets. Put bullets in your house. All right, we finished that guard tower. We do want to repair that. And how easy is it to build walls? Wooden palace it. Whoa. Oh, this is nice. See, this is how you should be able to build farms. I guess you can't build wooden palace on streets. Makes sense. Winter is coming. Hey guys, the zombie apocalypse is really hard to survive and it's gonna get harder, so prepare to die. Okay, thanks, man. Looking for a gun store? Okay, there's the gun store. There could be hostiles over there, <laughs> by the way. Horde spotted during the daytime? Wait a minute, that's not, they're not supposed to do that. Yeah, there are two like random raiders. I like the fact that there's zombies and like sort of other survivors, raiders, you know, that kind of a thing. There's a lot more nuance to like going out and exploring the little city, multiple enemy types and you know, sort of factions. All right. We have the steel, we have all this. It's just taking forever to build that, okay. Remember, we only have to survive eight days and we're on, you know, halfway through day six. Didn't get this tower set up, which is weird because I have the resources and I felt like I prioritized the work, but it didn't get done. Oh, that's a relatively decent sized horde. Yeah, I think the best thing to do is set up a few, maybe three, four guard towers as soon as you can. They love this peripheral tower out here. <laughs> it's technically got nobody in it. Lure them into our trap. Yeah, there's a lot of converging fields of fire here. Drive away. <laughs> Get some ammunition. All right, it's day seven. What is the mission other than just please survive? Okay, so basic antenna. Oh shoot. I got research going now. I probably should have been doing that for a while. Building a freaking cookhouse is taking forever. Oh, we got Ludy McLooter faces over here. They're like, no, nah, we don't want to mess around with those guys. They got bows and arrows and big wooden towers. Yeah, I guess at this point, like, I don't need to cut any more trees. Ooh, now you're going to teach me how to deconstruct buildings. Okay, it's about dang time. Plus, that open up, like, much better field of fire, too. Oh, that is so much materials. 
Yeah, like, I want to get rid of this task. Oh, there we go. Nice. So it's day seven. Yikes. It's just... Uh... Did you hear that? Incoming transmission. Hey, man, you're about to die. Just want to let you know. Yeah. Dude, I have a terrible feeling about this. Uh, yeah, let's just get ready. Dude, this zone is not gonna be defended very well. Not gonna survive the night. Okay. And it's, and it's winter. It's snowing. Horde spotted where? How big? Ooh, that is a big horde! And of course, it's like now where my guard towers are. Fantastic! These guys, you know what? You're like uh, the Thermopylae Spartans, right? You're, you're just out there to distract the Persians for long enough for us to survive. All right, that's a big group. So there's tons and tons coming from this side. This headquarters is probably going to be overwhelmed. But if they all go after the guard tower, they're not going after the guard tower. They're actually trying to get into the house. That's not good. Oh, these guys are probably going to die. Jeez. They, luckily, they have the AK. I think they're about to be out of ammunition, though. Yeah, the AK just ran out of ammo. It's 11 p.m. Like, this is like, you know what? We just started. Go get that ammo. Go, 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 get out there. How are they out of ammo? But they're, oh, there we go. They just refill. This is nuts how many zombies are attacking. And I like how, like, at night, you sort of have this, like, night vision view. Yeah. I think, like, now that we know what we know, we could do significantly better in the next run. I kind of have a feeling we'll probably survive this. Man, this Kalashnikov runs out of ammo so fast. Oh, get inside. Get that ammo. Yeah, and you're just going to stay here. We need to have the AK in that. So whenever they need to refill their ammo, it's just super easy. What do you mean another horde spotted? Oh my god, there's this group over here attacking this poor archer tower. But they're doing their job of distracting the enemy. Like kingdoms and castles, but zombies and guns. Oh, get back home. Get back inside. It's 5 a.m. Can we survive till they go away? This last horde is running up Rydell Road. Once again, it just feels like we're playing a zombie survival game. Sort of like a mix of Command and Conquer and Google Maps at the same time. It's is uh, in like, I guess the last of us. I don't know. This is wild. I've never played a game like this and I am having fun. We will prevail, Mr. Pessimistic we Guy. To. Wait, we're all that's left of humanity? We survived eight days. We took in five people. We killed 471 zombies and scavenged 256 resources. The question is, can we do better next time? Let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.